scientists, Professor Beakers here. Today we are talking about your Thanksgiving experiments, your turkey tabletop science, whatever you want to call it. We're going to have fun. Make sure you have your instruction card. It tells you everything you need to know. Make sure you have mom, dad, and another adult as well because we don't do experiments alone. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. All right, let's start with our race to the table experiment. We are going to be looking at forces and motion. We're gonna be looking at our push force and that other force we've talked about. It holds us to the ground. Do you remember what it is? Gravity! That's right, we're gonna see which force is stronger. So get your ruler, get a box or something you can lean your ruler on. What have we created? A ramp, that's right. And then get your marble or marbles. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your marble and you're gonna use your push force, okay? You can do it on the floor, it's more fun. Because remember, you're racing to the table because I want turkey and mashed potatoes. So I pushed it, I'm gonna measure how far it went and now I'm going to see if gravity takes it farther. So there's a little space all the way down the middle of your ruler, that's where you want your marble to go. Keeps it in a straight line. So you're gonna go ahead and let it go. Ah! And see which one went farther, which one? All right, let me know. Now let's set the table, okay? We are going to play again with forces in motion. And I'm gonna ask you a science, sorry doggo, I gotta move you. I'm gonna ask you a scientific question here. What do you think will happen? Here's my table. You guys should all have your cloth. What do you think is gonna happen if I put, it has to be kind of heavy, an object on my tablecloth, and then I use the force of pull to pull my tablecloth out. What's your guess? What's your hypothesis? Is this gonna fall over? Is it gonna stay? I don't know, let's give it a try. You ready? One, two, woo, it stayed! Pretty cool, right? All right, you guys try it. Make sure you use something that won't break or let mom and dad help you because I don't want to be in trouble when things fall off the table. All right, guys, see you later. Now let's do some table talk. We're going to be talking about sound and how it travels. Sound travels in waves, and then in those waves are vibrations. You can feel them if you put your fingers to your vocal cords and go, ah, turkey. Can you feel them? That's right. That's how they travel. So we're going to try to catch some of those waves by using two big straws and a bowl. So you need a partner for this. I think I'm going to use my partner, my lab assistant, Brianna. Okay. So come on over, Brianna. I'm going to whisper into the bowl and you're going to see if you can hear me. Okay. Okay. Make sure you whisper. Okay, here we go. <laughs> could you hear it? I could. Okay, now you guys try it. Okay, now we're going to phone home. Hello, anybody there? You wanna come over for some pie? All right, we're going to make a phone. That's right, we are going to use the sound waves and vibrations to make a call with cups. Yep, it works, it really does. So. I already made mine and you can check out the video on how to make yours. The idea is you're going to have your partner, my partner's Brianna, you can say hi to Brianna again. They're going to take one end and you have to make sure when you make your call that the string is tight so that the waves and vibrations can travel along the line. If you let it drop, well, you dropped your call and we don't like that. So one of you is going to listen. And the other one's going to send a message on the phone line. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Now you guys make your phone calls. What are you going to talk about? I don't know. Turkey pie. Can you tell I'm hungry? I'm hungry. Okay. Have fun guys. <laughs> 